Wow, this is a crazy one. Uber CEO Dora hires drivers pay cuts to increase profits. Insane. But I'm not surprised by this at all. Most top level elite corporate people and massive business owners, the wicked people, liars and deceivers. They take from the little guys who are just trying to make it and keep the lights on to align their pockets. Most people doing Uber ain't rich. They're doing it because they need the money. And this wicked individual is taking food out their mouths. Damn shame. According to Forbes, Uber is on a roll this year. They racked up a massive $2.8 billion through the first quarters of this year in cash flow, while a 21% increase in global booking. Investors have taken notice to Uber stock prices. The prices have more than doubled year to date. Again, I'm not surprised by this. They robbing the little guys. On his recent earnings call, CEO Dora, he's attributing Uber's success to the global flywheel they built, coupled with vigorous cost discipline, enabling them to generate strong leverage to exit this year. With tremendous momentum, Dora says in his own words, tremendous momentum, my ass. This tremendous growth y'all experiencing is due to y'all robbing the drivers, the ones who are out there doing the work, busting their behinds, insane. According to Forbes, Dora has gone back to his old tricks in the Uber playbook, which is cutting drivers' pay, but this time with a clever change in how the company pays its U.S. drivers. Disgusting and yet another pay cut and allowing Uber to take a much bigger cut of passengers' fees for itself. Insane. Since taking the helm of Uber, Dora has raised ride haul prices by 55%. This whole thing stinks to me. Dora is robbing Uber drivers and its customers. As a result, the U.S. ride haul business has become Uber's piggy bank, according to Forbes, driving almost a third of its total global year-on-year -year operating cash flow, and it's increased this quarter. Yeah, this whole thing stinks to me and smells just like corruption. Most of these big wig company owners are the most corrupt crooks on this planet. Just how you think they came into power by lying, cheating, stealing, and deceiving. If this is true, this Uber CEO needs held accountable. But probably won't be because he got money and we all know money talks in this 3D lockdown we live in. But there's a heavy price to pay in the spiritual realms. Because you truly get away with nothing. Just my thoughts on the matter. Peace.